the dark, aka the snowman. Look, I'm a snowman today. I so, see. Oh. I, I love that coat right there. It seems like you really prepared for the weather a little bit right there. Man, listen, man. As a snowman, he comes prepared. That's why you can stay outside for all day. Absolutely. Seems like y'all did an outstanding job, but the Steelers did pose a little bit of problem for you early on in the game. What adjustments did you guys make in that second half to relieve some of the pressure off of Josh? Uh, we just kept playing ball. Um, it's never a perfect move. Um, mm -hmm. It's never it's never as easy as just one, two, three. You know, that's why they're a, a NFL defense, and that's why we're an NFL offense. Uh, we just kept playing. We just um, – just continue to to play. It wasn't really no main uh, adjustments. You know, they came out, they gave us uh, a nice shot, and uh, we just kept kept the thing turning. Yeah, but it seemed like you guys really answered the bell. And, you know, we we talked during the week about their blitz defense against your, uh, you know, like the way you play against it. But it seems like as the game went on, you guys got a little bit more physical down the stretch. He was able to get some good runs and close the game out. Care to talk about having physicality during the, during the end stretch? Yeah, so, uh, like, coming in it, like, we knew that the defense was a great – that the Steelers had a great defense. And uh, and in a game like this, like, we can't be soft. We can't play soft. It has to be a physical – Four quarter game, so that's exactly what uh, our mind was. Just be physical in anything that and we do, whether it's pass pro, run block, screens, draws, all of it. We just have to be physical because uh, they're a physical group and they're a great defense. Absolutely, man. Congrats on the win. For sure, we appreciate you, brother. Hey, Dion, it's John. Uh, congrats on the win. Appreciate it. What, what up, John? Hey. Sorry, the internet's kind of uh, yeah, unstable up here, but uh, uh, <laughs> I'll try my best here. Uh, Bill's Mafia is obviously loving this win. Inside the locker room, what's the vibe like? <laughs> well, we just got 10 and uh, humble, extremely humble, uh, excited, but humble. Like we're going to enjoy this win for about another, uh, I'm going to say, 20, maybe 20 hours, maybe like 15, and then it's over. Because we have uh, another task com coming up that we have to get done. But as far as the locker room, it's just humble and hungry. And how is that different than maybe when you were stacking wins earlier in your career? Uh, and how easy is it uh, to now move past them like this, understanding the magnitude? Well, uh, and when you say like move past what? Like move past the Steelers? No, just in general. Like just move past a win and like this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's just um I mean, honestly, it's it's just a win, bro. It's it's just a win for us. And we understand that uh, that the Steelers were eleven and one or ten and one or something and like that. Like uh, like they were like undefeated and only lost like one time and any win we cherish and uh if we were to harp on this win, it'll hurt us. So we take this win, we enjoy it for a quick second, and we move on. Just like any other win, like if it was against the Jets, uh, the Patriots, anybody. It's it's the same. It's just a different uniform to us. Thanks a lot, man. Hey, Dion, it's Heather. Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you, Heather. Good to see you. Congrats on the win. Um, Thank you. What does it say about this offense? The fact that you guys have found so many different ways to win this season. You know, in the first half wasn't going the way that you guys wanted it to, but then you really pick it up in that third quarter. Just what does it say about this offense being able to bounce back like that, even if you're not playing, um, you know, up to the level that you want to be, but you're still able to get it done and get a win? Well, it just shows, um, and I always bring it back to this, but – it really like just shows what a great job the people upstairs did. And when I talk about like upstairs, I'm talking about the, um, our GM, our head coach, our owner, like they did a great job of getting the right guys here to make plays. And uh, we have a lot of weapons now. Josh has a lot of people to help him get the job done uh, as in like playmakers. And um, it all falls on the people like upstairs. Like they just did a great job of getting people here so now we have opportunities to do it in multiple and different ways. If we have to run it, 
if we have to pass it, if we have to use our quarterback, if we have to use alignment, anything. Like, we can just get the job done on all surfaces of, of the football field. What is it when you, you talk about guys that Brandon Bean brought in? Obviously, the biggest name is Stefan Diggs. He absolutely took over this game, especially in the second half. Just does it ever cease to amaze you the things that Diggs <laughs> could do? Listen, uh, Diggs, is, Diggs is so special that as I see him play, uh, I just want to rip off my captain's C and throw it on on his chest because uh, he's, he's a stud, man. And, and he's been grinding, he's come in, and he just continues to outperform, outshine, and, and prove us day in and day out that he's a different guy and that he's our guy. And uh, I guarantee you, he uh, has gravitated to in Buffalo with uh, an unbelievable love. And we can feel it in, in a locker room, how he plays, how he talks, how he walks around, how he respects his teammates. Uh, like Stefan Diggs, he's, He's, he's gritty, and uh, that's our teammate, and we love him. And uh, we appreciate him, and we're blessed to have him here. Awesome. Thanks, Deion. Congrats on the yeah, You're welcome, Heather. Thank you. Hey, Deion. Matt Fairburn here. Um, obviously, you guys get out to that lead, but then to get the ball at the end of the game and run that four-minute offense the way that you did, um, what does that say about this, this offense and the way you can close out games? Well, it just shows that – that we can do it, you know. Uh, you know, it really doesn't show not, like nothing more, but that we have the ability to do it. And uh, it just showed us that now we can watch the film, learn from it, and we can get better for the next time we have to be in a position like this. What does it feel like as an offensive lineman when you take the field for a drive like that, knowing you're going to run the ball and knowing you're up against one of the, the best defenses in football? Um, it makes you feel good about yourself, but um, humble though, like just blessed to be able to do it, like blessed to go out there with with the other four guys on on that O line and uh, put our heads down, our hands in the dirt, and uh, take off and march. You know, and it's a and it's a great feeling to uh, play as one and to get the job done. Thanks, Dion. You're welcome.